Hi everyone, welcome back to a podcast. How long has it been? Like, what, three, four, nine, five months, six months, seven months? I can't remember the last time we did it. Uh, a lot longer Great than that, years. it's been like a year or so. It could have been, a, oh shit, has it been a year? Could have been a year. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, welcome back to the relaunch of the podcast. Big relaunch, relaunch <laughs> party. Whoa, podcast part two. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Hey, uh, I'm Chris as always, and Laura and Sam are all here. Hey. Everyone's here. As always. The, the whole gang's yeah. back together. Yeah, back together. And a lot has changed since the last time we podcast. And there's a big reason why we didn't podcast. And now that's all been sorted. Now we can podcast once again. Oh my God, that was way too quick. I've had a lot of caffeine today. Yeah. How is everyone? Great. Uh, good. Good. G- good. Good. Great. <laughs> Sam, what were you doing last that we spoke to? Did you even have your flat? I think you did. Last? Since last what? Like last year? Last podcast. Uh, I don't remember what the last podcast was, but I mean, it was in my house. We've gone, through, my some, house. We've gone through some tough times, yeah. Chris. You know, we've, we've had World War Three. We've oh, yeah. uh, the robots took over. The, the monkeys took over. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That All happened. of that has now happened, which of course we predicted. We're, yeah, we're now we're now living <laughs> in a post robot monkey world. Yeah. <laughs> a post civilian world here. Yeah. We're just now, so, uh, you know, we pray to the overlords. Um, you know, I've got a new flat in the in the bombed out ruins yeah. of Stratford upon Avon. The, 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 yeah. the monkey overlord. How I hope he listens. We we, yeah. we, we, <laughs> we, we, we we do you know we we peel our bananas as every day. As praise be pra- to the monkey man. Praise to the monkey man. Exactly. The robots lost. Yeah. Well, obviously we predicted that. Thank, thank God for the monkeys. Oh yeah. I, I mean, mean there's that a close close call at one point where I mean they might well, be see, illegal, but better than robots, you know. Yeah. I uh, so yeah, I got a flat with a with a spare room so I can pray to my shrine. Yes, with the monkeys. Yeah, that's exactly why we did it as well. Yeah, we, we've also got a flat now. <laughs> as, a, literally, like room. a week ago, two weeks ago. Monkey shrine. This is why we can do podcasts. A week. It's a week today. Whoa. Mm-hmm. That's time flies. Yeah, and we. I did watch your vlog. <gasps> Laura's vlogging again. Yeah, I'm vlogging again. I have like jumped right into it. I've, All right. I know. I know. Just I gonna, like, just gonna drop it in there. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna self plug. Why not? That's what this is for. <laughs> That's why I'm here. What, what have you got, Sam? You got a book coming out or anything? That means Sam's seen our uh, flat tour. He has. Mm. I have. I watched it. Did you watch it with your lady friend? <laughs> uh, that makes it sound like I have many lady friends or something. No, yeah, I, 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 did. Oh. I did. Did, I did. did you enjoy our flat tour? Could you... No, we thought it was terrible. And I, <laughs> Could you ask I, me I yesterday? You, don't quit your day job. <laughs> you asked me yesterday how big's my uh, flat, and I was like, I don't know. Uh, and now, yeah. you know, it's... It's, it's bigger than mine. Is it? Oh, calm down. It's not a contest. Quite a lot bigger than mine. Size doesn't always matter. <laughs> calm down, lads. I mean, it's how you <laughs> furnish it, not how big it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is the same. We're not going to hold them up together to measure them <laughs> and compare. So, no. I mean, perspective is always. Yeah. You know, how, that's really how you can tell the size. And girls always think they're bigger than they are. What houses? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Because we are terrible at measuring size. Well, look at the size of the coffee table you bought. We have to get <laughs> Laura, Sam. We bought a coffee table and it's too big, and we have to send it back. It makes all our other furniture look miniature. And because we're small people, yeah. it makes us look smaller. <laughs> it's huh. like so tall; it's taller than the bloody sofa. It's ridiculous. It was so is uh, it like a monolith. Yeah, basically yeah. an IKEA there. disaster. Because when you see things in IKEA, everything else is giant. Yeah. So you're like, this will work. It's not. It's not oversized at all. And then you get it home to your normal size house, and suddenly it looks like a ridiculous I'm, giant yeah, I'm looking at it right now oh it's terrifying and it's like it. three stories <laughs> you can't look directly at it it's just so huge it is actually quite it's actually hard to look at it all at once because it's so large yeah I can't there's a, there's a CEO <laughs> sitting at the top of a chair yeah, yeah. just like he owns it all I, I can't actually get yeah it, it's it, ridiculous it, it's actually taking over the flat yeah basically don't buy furniture without measuring first yeah that well we, we did measure but that was measured wrong apparently well it's just so tall I know ridiculous so, so Sam, you've you've have you fully furnished your flat now? Uh, apart from uh, the fact that we don't have a dining table. Oh, same. Um, yeah, same, same. And also our uh, like our spare room with a computer in it. It's just got all the junk thrown in it. So that's where I'm sitting. Okay, oh. this sounds freakish because it's basically the exact same. Yeah, we're sitting in our spare we're room. We're sitting in our spare room, which is really echoey, empty, and has well, a load yeah, of junk. Well, yes, that's in it. how it goes. Yeah. You have a bike in your spare room, don't you? I do. I was looking at it just now, so I can see a bug on it. Oh, nice! Great. I put my phone. <laughs> I'm terrified now. I put my phone down. The miniature spider crawled out of it, so that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, apart from that, me and Laura both have new jobs. Way. Yeah, you're a you're a debt collector, aren't you? I'm not, Sam. So <laughs> don't get any debts because I'm sending them around. 
<laughs> um, that's not what I do. <laughs> no, that's not what you do at all. I'm a very nice person. You work for a financial company. <laughs> I like why you have to I'm justify nice that. Person. I'm a nice person, fact, really. And funnily enough, that's what you say to all your clients as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, one, one, <laughs> okay, so we've been taught about social behaviours, how to basically manipulate okay, people by I'm saying things. I'm just going to say this. You should not have to be taught about how to behave socially you should know that already. no it's about saying things to influence people yeah. like fun one and the now more... you come home you practice it on me yeah so some of the th- yeah, I was gonna say easier on us yeah yeah so okay so some of the times you know we'll say really it's really cringy stuff i don't oft- often say it but there's stuff like i treat all my customers fairly i'll do no different to you to you i just ask that Ooh. we have a honest open and honest conversation with uh today is that okay? And then if they say yes, apparently that means they're more likely to be honest with you because they've wow. agreed to it. Like, well, what happens if they're sociopaths? <laughs> well, I had one guy said to me today that I was threatening him, which is hilarious because I didn't even say anything because he was the one talking. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've been talking the whole day, but you're threatening me while sitting there. All, all, all I said was like, hello, and I wanted to confirm the security questions with him. Great. And then after that, he said I was threatening him. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Right. Clearly, you're a threatening person. Yeah. I mean, have you heard me? I, mean, I can't threaten a bloody ant. If he could see you, he would not feel threatened. No. Yeah. And then he hung up on me. <laughs> and I was like, it's just rude. Great. That's just threatening, really. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Ridiculous. I, I actually filed, you know, for some therapy after that. Wow. Did you? Yeah. Great. Actually, our company has this woman that goes around and gives massages to people. So, I mean... Oh. I could just book myself in for one of them. I think. That's what they say anyway. She just sort of turns <laughs> up on the and... They pretend like they pay her, but actually she just likes touching people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's quite weird. Actually. So what other jobs what other jobs are flying around? What we who else has got Laura? What, what jobs? Oh yeah. Um so what's my job? How do I even explain it? You this? work I... in email marketing, don't Yeah, I? but for a ridiculous for company. For a ridiculous company that sells incredibly overpriced designer baby and children's so clothes. So Laura's cl- uh, customers huh. buy all the clothes, get into debt, and then they call me. Yeah, basically we're a team. <laughs> I sell them the clothes that they can't afford, they get in debt, Chris calls them up. It's great. Here's Actually, a question, no. Sam. Yeah. You, might, you know, I, mean, I understand you don't have a baby. That's, that's right. fine. <laughs> but if you were to buy a small person, or even set your, your, you know, your lady friend Sarah... If she needed a bib because she made a lot of mess, say, when she was eating. Or even oh, yeah. yourself. I thought you said beer. A bib. What, I thought you said... <laughs> no, no, not baby right. beer, no. I'm talking about a bib. All right. All right. How much would you be willing to pay for a piece of cloth to, that's going to get dirty? Uh, Like, uh, I'm going to ruin your punchline here and say about £500. That's a bit too much. That's Come ridiculous. On. <laughs> £100. I would pay for no, Come on. £100. Like five, five quid for it's it. It's Versace. It's a £100 Versace it's bib. Just... And it's a hundred pounds. Versace, it's actually pure gold. Versace bib. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, it's not. It's not pure gold. That is bullshit. It's just a Versace yeah. bib. It's just a bib. It's a hundred pound. You can't even wash it. So literally, it's basically like you're spending a hundred pound on a disposable napkin. You can't wash it. No, it's Versace. You can't wash Versace. You'd have to have it dry cleaned. <laughs> a dry clean baby bib. Okay. For a hundred pound. I would like to see a person walk in. <laughs> you know, you, you could turn up to your dry cleaners and they go, how can I help you? And then you just, yeah, I need this, this bib dry cleaner. And they just look at you like, oh, what I, is I, wrong I, with I you? can't touch that. It's Versace. You have to take it to the specialist. They look at, they, they give you a little funny look and you're like, don't worry, it is Versace. And they're like, oh. <laughs> I understand now. They've got a special bib cleaning, dry cleaning machine. Like, imagine if you put that on your kid and then they spill, like, I don't know, tomato all over it and it's stained. That's just like you've chucked... Or blood. <laughs> <laughs> the blood of their enemies. It's like during your hunting trips with your two-year-old. Yeah. Now, we're just going to carve open the deer. <laughs> Get your Versace bibs out. It's a bit messy, dear. Or, is it, or maybe that's when they hunt um, the poor people. Maybe. maybe. Be- Beyonce buys clothes you, don't she? Yeah, I don't know if I'm really supposed to say that, you know. We haven't told the company. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, she buys clothes from us, apparently. Yeah. Wait, what? Beyonce. Beyonce yeah. buys baby bibs. She yeah, she, buys she's really messy. From my company. She always dropping food <laughs> down. She's, she's just had them twins, isn't she? And yeah. She bought like a whole load of clothes, like ridiculous amount of money spent. Apparently so. Apparently. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much our lives updated. What are you doing, yeah. Sam? Uh, oh, well, I remember, well, you know, other than the fact that I got a transfer from, like, from night shift to day shift. Woo! What are you now, Baker? I bake on Sundays. Uh, <laughs> I do closing on Thursday, Fridays, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, it's so it's so late! Like ten o'clock at night is so late when we close." Like, no, it's not. That's what I start of my night shift. Yeah, but yeah. and then on Tuesdays, I have to just think about not dying because of the customer interaction all day. Oh. It's horrible. Yeah, I'm just a customer whipping boy. But 
one of my customers last night. I told you, didn't I, Chris? Or you saw me talking about it. I met oh, Christopher yes. Eccleston last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was uh, he was he was buying very late, like ten minutes before yeah, the shop closed, and then what is, what is he was mean? buying. He spent sixty pounds, two full carrier bags oh, worth it's of a, it's a local lentils, shop. lentils, fish, oh. salads, uh, and a couple of healthy like snack bars and a bunch of soya milk. So did, did he come to the till? Put down his, Did he come to the till? Put down his basket? And he just stood there holding his lettuce, like, <gasps> and just staring. He. he well, no one was behind the till because the guy who was usually behind there for some reason just wasn't there, and yeah, like, he doesn't like I was really. close. I was the closest <laughs> to it, and this, so I just saw this guy walk up, put his basket down, and then he looked over, and I was like, "Oh shit, no one's serving him." <laughs> so I kind of like moseyed on down. I looked at him, but it, it wasn't like a mirror. I was like, "Holy shit, it's Doctor Who!" I just sort of looked at this guy, like, "You look like a builder, but you don't at the same time." And I was like, "Hmm," and I was like, "I recognise you, but also I don't." And so and I kept staring at him, and like, you know, I really he was like, you like so, his "Can you please?" I recognise you, but yeah. I don't. And then just stared. At him. <laughs> I said it. Well, I, I was staring at him, and he was like, "Sir, please just scan my items." <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I, I was scared. I was like, "Holy shit!" It's Christopher Eccleston. He, he didn't really say it. He seemed quite tired, and it was. Uh, yeah, well, but he said, offered to, shit, to pack cute. his own bag. He didn't pack his own bag. No, he did. He's like the only person that's packed his own bag at my shot. Everyone else was like, "Oh boy, boy, go pack, pack my bag for me, boy." But he was like, "I'll oh, give it here, give it here," and he packed it himself. <gasps> Can't believe it. Well, he's so he's down a, to earth. He's a gentleman. And look at that, buying loads of soy milk and lentils for 60 quid. He is going to be in Macbeth in like a month. I've got tickets to see him, but I don't need to go (laughs) anymore because I've seen him. Yeah, I should have asked him for backstage backstage tickets. So I've just, uh, this is £60, but it'll be £59. Well, I mean, when you go, he'll (laughs) recognise you. As the the boy who served him. uh, You're the boy who did serve me. I have a feeling he's going to be coming in a lot more. So, yeah. um, but I was like, you know, it's not like a usual celebrity encounter where it's like, oh, I, I walk past it. Like I walk past Kit Harrington, mm-hmm. who plays Jon Snow in Game of Thrones. Uh, and I like, you know, I walk past him. He's tiny, but like tiny as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like, oh yeah, I was like face to face with Christopher Eccleston for about five minutes. Like he said words to you. Or was just... He did. And he said my name. He said, thanks, Sam. As a, <gasps> as a, uh, you basically, you're basically best friends. Yeah. I mean, basically. Yeah. Did 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 he add you on Facebook after? <laughs> I really wish. Followed, followed but no, his uh, stop. His uh, his phone payment app fucked up, so it's quite funny. Oh, oh. did you make it a joke? Like, he he was like, oh, sorry about this. Said, oh, the app should have you know, a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, get the fuck out. Like, Oh, you... <laughs> get, get the fuck out of my shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he can't afford your shopping, mate? Don't your kind here. <laughs> Yeah, it looked like it declined as well. I was like, you fucking poor, poor prick. We don't need to serve actors here. Yeah. Fucking get out. But, yeah, he, he apologised for the time it took to get the app up on his phone and then he paid. Well, they went thanks, Sam, and left. I like how, you know, you're, um, when you're talking about this, like, oh, he apologised. We don't usually get that in these celebrities these days. No, well, where I work is the rudest people I've ever met. They're all like yeah. middle class winos, so they just kind of come in and disregard me as a human and then just walk that's out again. Terrific. See, that's one advantage of talking to people on the phone. They could be from anywhere in the country. And judging by the, yeah. you know. You can... Well, they're at your whim, though, aren't they? You're the, you're the man in power you know, when you're in a conversation. I've with got them. all the information. I can see where they live. I spoke to somebody who. <laughs> Don't lives, say that to them. Who lives very close to where <laughs> we used to live, Sam. Really? Yeah, like literally on the next road. Oh god, I, that's weird. I, I know everything about them now. I went through a whole. Conversation. I was like a half an hour phone call with them. Huh? Do we know them? No, we don't. You're not allowed to speak no. to them if you know me. No, I'm not allowed to speak. To you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk to you. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because imagine if you phones me up. It's like your mum. Like, oh, how are you doing? My mum, I can't talk to you about all this money you owe me. But um, I'll pass you over. Yeah, because you're not supposed to see that. Because then you could be at work, find out somebody you know has massive debts, mm. and then like blackmail them. Well, when I saw the address, yeah. I was like, uh, "Do I know this?" I mean, person? I wouldn't say that you. Should, I'm not recommending you do that. No, I get sacked for that. Just saying. They, well, they, yeah, they, they you'd, said you'd have all the hush money, so it'd be fine. Yeah, I, I, I you know, I debated that. <laughs> I, I felt like the, the the steady income was better for the rent. Potentially, yeah. So there's been something I've been trying not not tell anybody. Like I've been trying, I've had since we did last podcast. I was. It's okay, Chris. You can tell us. <laughs> yeah. So I'm actually um, pregnant. Five. I'm, I'm actually under five foot eight. That's what I found out. Today. You're five. You're five. <laughs> I'm actually five foot eight. Hang on, what? Chris, how could you not tell me? <laughs> we were in Marks and Spencers, this is, and they. This had... is not what you've been holding a secret. No, but we we're in Marks and Spencers, and they had oh, like yeah. this, this. Yeah, but I've grown. You haven't grown. Though. I have. I've always been five one and a half. I'm now five two. 
Congratulations. Oh, yeah. You're dear. now still short. <laughs> yeah, but not that short. True. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I sort of, you know, when I'm doing my daily, excuse me, daily routine, I, you know, picked up things. That I thought, oh, I could talk about that in the podcast. Oh, I could talk about it in the podcast. And I forgot everything because it's been such a long time. But one thing stuck in my mind. Okay, this is when I wasn't living at Laura's parents' house. So, yeah, it must have been about seven months ago. Yeah. Yeah. I was riding the rails, as I always did, hmm. going back to London. And I was sitting on the train to St Pancras Station. Yep. Yeah. Minding my own business, got my headphones on. And then we put into St Pancras. And I get up to leave, and I'm walking down the carriage. And you know, like, you know, the people sort of sit there until, like, last moment, everyone's gone. Yeah. So there's one guy sitting there on, on a table. And he's got this bit of paper in front of him, just like a rectangle, like a photo. Mm. So I just sort of glance at what he's doing. He's got two hands on the table, and he's staring this photo like, like it's like, I'm going to kill this man. Mm. I'm going to murder him. <laughs> so I'm like, who is this person? I looked at it, and it was a picture of Adolf Hitler. That <laughs> is weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So I'm gonna go back in time and kill this yeah. prick. Come on! He was just staring at the picture of Adolf Hitler with both palms on the table. Well, like it wasn't in a paper or anything. It was just no. It was like a, a portrait, like a photo, like a like a headshot. That's like so like weird. maybe it was maybe it was worshiping it. It was like God bless you, God bless you. That's so weird. And it was just like this, this headshot of Adolf Hitler. Is I I thought two things. Either he's gonna walk into like MI5 and go, Have you heard about this man? Someone needs to stop him. <laughs> Or, or he's going to, like, present this face to, like, uh, the front of Time magazine and go, this is who we should put on it. Maybe he was an actor and he was going to portray him in something and he felt like he had to get into the role of it. I don't know. Well, it's it's, it's kind of weird. I, and, and I don't think you want to be... Oh, and you know all the actors. <laughs> no, but... I mean, you're not like Sam, you know, who's, no, like, hobnobbing with Christopher. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gallivanting maybe, with maybe actors maybe here. Maybe Chris Erickson knows. So ask him, has he... Does he yeah, next time friend? you see him, say, do you have an actor friend who's about to portray Adolf Hitler? Yeah, and, and and feels like he needs to stare at a picture of him, like one of the most you know most recognisable people in the like, world. You would not want to do that on a train. Well, no, there's not a problem with having. You know, you might have things to do, but it's just the fact he had nothing on. Yeah, him. like nothing he was just else. wearing a t-shirt and jeans. He didn't have a rucksack, and he just had this photograph of Hitler's face. That is maybe weird. he was a time traveller and he ended up in the wrong place, but he needed to visualise like where he had to go. Well, maybe so. he, maybe he was a time traveller and he was sent to this time. He's like, I must kill this man. I must find him, and he's just gonna go and try and find Hitler, and he's been dead for like you know, what sixty years, thirty years. That's mad. Yeah, exactly. Also, he's not really around some Penguin Station much. I mean, probably. not. <laughs> Yeah, so that was, that was a very strange event that happened to me That's on the train. Weird. I can't believe you've never told you like never told me when oh, you arrived. Oh, I, I know. No, I was, you must I was have going like, home. You must have like filed that away. Like, no, I'm not telling her that. Yeah, I'm gonna store that up. Well, I got out of the train, saw the uh, YouTube head HQ where they have in offices and banquets, and I thought that'd be good to mention on a podcast. And oh, then off. That's well, why they go. put it there. And I stored that in a little section of my brain. And, and a lock and key. Yeah, and wow. now the Hitler's image has left. And everyone in the world can know. That is yeah, mad. So, so if some man is running around the middle of London with a picture of Hitler, please let me know. Because I want to track this man yeah. down and find out what he was doing. <laughs> and do, oh, you're just going to find out. What he's, you're not going to like try and kill him, are you? No, I want to know if it's a time traveller and then tell me what happens in the future. Oh, I don't want to know. I'm sure he'll tell you. Yeah. yeah I'm sure he will. Yeah, just be like, yeah, mate, of course. Basically, what happened is... And then he'll give you the whole Yeah, I want to know. Why, why is he... Also, if he kills Hitler, what would happen? The world would be so different. Everything would change. It's like the butterfly effect. Is it like that? Is that what I mean? If, if he, to be honest, if Hitler died, there'd be a lot less video games. Let's be real. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Who's Hitler? Who are we talking about? Just he's already done it. It's a racist from my mind. <sighs> so uh, Stalin, yeah, that guy. You had a picture of Stalin. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's Stalin? Wait, what? <laughs> M- Mussolini was on this on this bit of paper in front of him. I just, we said Houdini. <laughs> yeah, Houdini. Yeah, Houdini. Actually, Houdini. After Mussolini, then Houdini becomes the uh, leader <laughs> yeah. of Europe in nineteen forties. Light of succession. Yeah. Okay. That's how it works. It goes Hitler, yeah. Stalin, Mussolini, yeah. Houdini. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, sure. It's, it's you know, it goes from dictatorship to magician. That's. <laughs> oh wait, no, we forgot. It's Picasso afterwards. As yeah, well. so that's that's the progression. First, you, first it's you know you got dictate, dictator, mm-hmm. then you go magician, and then you go artist. Got it. Yeah, there we are. That is the circle of life. Oh, okay, that's sorted. 
Anyone got anything to add? No. Good. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty much been stored waiting for a podcast. So I'm pretty glad we've done it. Done. I can yeah. I can be relieved that I haven't told anybody that. Got that off your to chest. be honest, I've probably got several stories stored up somewhere in my dusty mind from podcasts over the year. But you know, the biggest one at the moment was uh, old my boy Eccles e- Eccle Man Eccles Cake Eccleman Eccles Cake Christopher Eccles Cake <laughs> the, the, the Midnight Shopper. <laughs> yeah, you did come in ten minutes before we closed. Midnight Shopper would like, be a uh, great name for a film. We, we've got to stop doing this. We haven't yeah. made our other film. <laughs> I know, what have we been doing? It, that would be great if we were just like, the reason we haven't been here is we've been making a film. And if you didn't know that, it means because it sucked and didn't make it into cinemas. Yeah, that's why yeah. we're back doing the podcast again. Yeah, that's actually, of, yeah, uh, that's what happened. Yeah, sorry. yeah that's, that's what happened. That's, that's Instead of, you know, like off being really famous, film mm. directors raking in all the cash. Sam had that, you know, that's why I have that to time s- of a porn star. Yep, that's why I have to sell Versace bibs. Whoa. Make, saying that makes that's it sound a- like I'm just trying to sell knockoff Versace bibs out the back of my car. Yeah. <laughs> It's <laughs> doing terribly. <laughs> Please, ma'am, I don't have a child. <laughs> don't you all buy these bibs? But I have so well, many bibs. They're so expensive. You can use them for all sized humans, not just the small ones. Oh, mad. Yeah. yeah. Basically, we've got to buy furniture, and people need to buy bibs so we can buy furniture. Yeah, people need to buy more bibs so we can buy furniture. <laughs> I need to live. <laughs> buy my bibs. Just buy my bibs. <laughs> Need, we need to buy a new coffee table because this one is for giants. So apparently IKEA furniture, you don't have to send back for 365 days. Yeah, isn't that mad? You can, you can just... Uh, what? You can yeah. change your mind for 365 days. Yeah. So, you can just take it apart and as long as it's in resaleable condition, they take it back. Absolutely mental. They're way like, too trusting. Yeah. It's like renting furniture for free. Can't we had a... We bought a, a two wardrobes from IKEA and then the backboard didn't... Uh, it was a bit wonky on one of them. Yeah. So we told we told them like you know we couldn't fit the backboard on properly. So we we're like, oh, can you just send us like a new piece of like shitty wood just to put on the back of it? They sent us a whole new wardrobe. Wow! So- and they never asked for the other one back. <laughs> so we've got we have an extra wardrobe. It's just but but the problem is is I think yeah we still can't we still can't put the backboard on one of them. So we took the backboard off the new one, put it on one of the other ones we had. So we've now got two functioning wardrobes in the in the bedroom. But now we've got a back a backboardless wardrobe in the spare room. So I've got a wardrobe behind me that's like falling into the wall. <laughs> it's, it's being propped up by the wall. Why don't you Great. turn it into the doorway to Narnia? Yeah, that would work. Yeah, I'll just I'll just magic some back of the back of the wardrobe into a portal, shall I? Uh, uh, that'll work. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see what's wrong with that, Sam. Or 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 pull it in your doorway so you walk through the wardrobe. See now that would be cool. As you come into the flat. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. I think you'd... No, you'd have to put it the other side of the oh, door, so in the room. Idea. Freak out Christopher Eccleston yeah. and <laughs> turn it into a TARDIS and just leave it in the middle of your store. Yeah. For yourself, like, kidnap him or something? Yeah, no, him no, in... no, not for kidnapping, just to freak him out. Put him inside it, <laughs> kidnap him, <laughs> then go and be him in Macbeth. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, every night for, like, three months. You can learn life. I mean, the pay's great, right? I'm sure it is. Must, yeah, must be. I mean, if it's already sold out, is it? So yeah, yeah, it's Although sold then out. Then you like, wouldn't be able to entirely. go see it. But you'll be in it. Because yeah, you could yeah. yeah. Does that count? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've already got tickets for it. So yeah, I mean, it, uh, that's know. too much effort, really, isn't it? You got the tickets now. So do, do, do you think actors in like um, stage performances yeah get upset because they can't watch the stage performance? No, because they're in it. I don't think they care to be honest. Well, like, so they could watch it because they if there's somebody else was doing it. Another night or like yeah, yeah, sometimes they take yeah. No, they have to do the same. There is no, there's no switchovers of these ones. It's the same actors. So, because but then be like, like oh, I really like Macbeth. Oh, yeah, yeah but, I'm going to be in it, but like, now I can't watch it. But but it's Macbeth. It's, like, it's not like an everlasting London yeah, one. There's hmm. always Macbeth. Yeah, but you can never watch yourself in it. And obviously, you would think you're but, the best. Well, yeah, yeah but they record them. I think I, I'm pretty sure they record them one night. Yeah, I Fine. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> We disagree. <laughs> it's like, you're wrong, Chris. Shut up. Yeah, you're wrong. Get out. So I always find it weird when actors go and watch their own films and like the, you know, the premieres. Yeah, I would find that so weird. Like I hate. Obviously, when you edit a vlog, you then have to watch it back. I hate doing that, and it's like half an hour just of watching myself. And then Chris, you're always like, "Well, if you if you find it boring, then no one else is going to watch it." That's not that's what I say. Yes, it is. I said that that's one exact, time. Exact yeah, exact voice. But, like, that's not true because it's my life and I've already lived it, so I don't want to watch it again. Yeah, but the, you know? 
No. So if it was like the greatest day ever, like people watch their like wedding videos and stuff, but you're not going to like just be like, oh, here's what I did last Tuesday and just watch it. Hey. <laughs> Can't wait to see Tuesday again. <laughs> That's such a great Boy, what day. a Tuesday. Tuesday was a great day. Was it? No, I don't even remember. I had, I had it off. I didn't have to go to work. It's great. That's so good. Mad. I know. But yeah, I think um, watching yourself in a film is weird. Especially if it's like... Yeah, um, but they have to because they have to go to the premiere. I know, but I'll just sort of go there and oh, just switch off. Oh, you'd get off. so bored, wouldn't you? Just sit there like, oh, for God's sake. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes they don't really know like the entire plot of the rest of the film because they've only like read the lines for their scene. Well, that's just lazy. Well, yeah, it is lazy, but you know... So like, if I'm in a film <laughs> and like I only learnt my lines and they just didn't and give then a shit they about don't, the rest of the film. they don't record it in order, so you kind of want to watch it all together and then you'd be like, oh, it makes sense now. True. If you like never seen it... All this it, makes sense. Mad. Also, you could never be like, this is a great film, because you never actually watched it. That's true. You just think it's great because you're in it. You're contractually obliged to say it's a great film. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. I mean, you never hear an actor be in a film and go, well, this is a shit film, isn't it? No, but didn't um, they do. The Rock go and pick up the award for... What's the not the award you get for Razzies. Film? Yes. See, that's where Sam is in what? the podcast. What? The Razzies. He picked it up. What was that? It, they're like it's, it's, a, it's the anti-Oscars where they award you the things for worst film and worst actor and, and stuff he, like that. he got one for some film I can't remember what was it was it that, 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 the um, new Earthquake film where it was Rampage no San Andreas, San Andreas. that one not sure because I and saw he, the advert for but that but yeah he went and picked it up and made a speech and everything and he's like thank and you so it's much always... and it was basically like I'm so glad that people enjoyed it even though they're not enjoying it in the way that we intended it to be enjoyed because people are just yeah. laughing at it for being See, that's worse. He, Well, he's he's incredibly humble. It's quite funny. Yeah, it was it was quite funny. Yeah, but that's worse to be like, oh no, uh, I really like how people enjoyed the film because it was funny. Yeah, but it's it was the terrible. rock. Because I would be like, because then you're just saying basically people enjoyed this film and it was shit. But I'm okay with that because people liked it. Because you should have noticed it was shit when you read the bloody script. Well, well he, no, he's really confident about all the films he's in. Like he does not give a shit. Yeah. Even if it's shit, he'll still it would still defend the film to the end yeah. of the earth. Why? It's, it's amazing. He's he in so much shit. Yeah, but you know, he likes it. It gives him a paycheck. Yeah, okay. it's the job. That's like um, I thought it was cool that he went and picked up the award. What's his or the non award? What, what, what's his face? Um, who's in a lot of films all the time? Now I can't forget his name and. You know, he's in those films. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I'm so there. <laughs> no, he's in National Treasure. Who's that? Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Cage. Nicholas he, Cage. he does a lot of films. Yeah, and they're shit. And he does a lot of shit. Yeah, but he... He's in some good ones, he didn't go but... Up his yeah, but did, he just went... He, he was in good films, and then he just went all downhill, didn't he? No, it's very weird. He picks his films very strangely, and he ends up in shit ones half the time. It's like Michael Fassbender does that now. Which one's Michael Fassbender? Why do you not know who anyone Jesus is? Chris, are you... No, yeah, you, know you if you were working in Sainsbury's, you wouldn't even know Christopher Eccleston if he hit you in the yeah, face. Yeah, you would not have known him, would no, you? No, but I, like... I would have known him. Thank you very much. Yeah, but you'd um, have come home nah. and you'd have been like, I saw some bloke uh, in Sainsbury's. Who was it? Was that I'm, guy, you know, from that thing? I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, apparently, apparently John Terry's dad once came into our Sainsbury's. Mad. And I did not give a shit. Mad. I don't think I've, Mad. I don't think I've ever seen anyone famous. Oh, we used to see people famous all the time in London, didn't we, Sam? Yeah, loads. I mean, as I say, last time I was in London, I bumped into Jon Snow so, and, and the Ginger him. One Egret. Oh, Sam, how have No, we literally walked past each other. I literally brushed his shoulder. He's tiny. He's like a little baby. He's tiny. <laughs> did he just, did, did you think he did needs to bit? Did you turn to him and go, I'm sorry, I need to go, winter's coming, and then walk off? <laughs> yeah, basically, that's exactly what he does to everyone who walks past. So he, he's there all day, really. He's walking down the street, winter's coming. Winter's coming. Winter's coming. Everyone, winter's coming. No, I uh, I shoulder barged him like a bully in school when he went. Ow! Give me your pocket, <laughs> your lunch money. <laughs> he held on to his girlfriend and was like, "He hurt me." <laughs> Did I tell you about the time when Laura pushed me in the front of a taxi in London? Uh, no. What? When this is your favourite story. Why? First time we went on a date to London, and then we we bumped it was into not one. Our first of... date ever. We bumped in one of Laura's family friends. Yeah, so I and, shot, I shot so, and we were holding hand. hands at the time. So she let go of my hand and sort of pushed me a bit. But <laughs> we were on the edge of the road. So she just pushed me into the road in front of a taxi. I then introduced you. Yeah. Kill, killed you. Yeah. 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 But this is, unfortunately, the person who's still alive next to me. <laughs> that, that corpse in the road? Yeah, that's my boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, um, he slipped and fell. He slipped and fell, yeah. Awkward. Yeah. Awkward. So... That'll do for a podcast, eh? Yeah, that's, so that's how you do it. Yeah, mm. well, I guess we should do some yeah. more of those. 
We probably should. We're, 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 we're a lot covered there as well. I think, we'd, well. I think we've got enough cover to leave it another year. Yeah, yeah, that'll, yeah, do. Right, yeah. If that'll keep everyone going for at least another year. Yeah, we've covered new jobs, new houses. Yeah, I mean... Christopher Eccles cake. <laughs> things we won't really get much more exciting than this, so no. might as well give up I mean, while we're ahead. That's the peak of the year, isn't it, Sam? Really? <laughs> Basically, yeah. you're yeah. done and it's only, what, May? Yeah. Mad. Yeah. Wow. Oh, great. I mean, just, just end it now, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Thanks. Wow, that's a little bit harsh. So if, if we're back next week, it's just me and Laura. You know what happened? <laughs> well. uh, right. So yeah, I do. Cool. Cheers. Uh, still looking for a name for the podcast. If anyone has any ideas, drop it down in the comments. It's below. been two years, I think, and we still haven't got a name. Well, I well, just yeah. I just call it the podcast. Let's now. just say we had a mid-season break. Yeah, of a year. Yeah. Seasons last two years. <laughs> no, not mid season, but end of season. Oh, yeah. End of this season. is a new season. Season yeah. two of the podcast. Yeah. Previously on season one. <laughs> and then insert all those clips. Okay, so we'll have a mid season break of like a month and then we'll uh, leave it another year before we do. No, we'll do okay. mid season break now. Right. And then we'll do one more and okay. then that'll be end of season. Two episodes. Oh, season. Okay, great. Yeah. It's like those BBC, BBC seasons that are just like five Oh, episodes. yeah, where they only do like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Cool. Sweet. 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 Just going to drop Sweet. it in now. Before we go, how great is it that Brooklyn Nine Nine got cancelled and then next day got reinstated? On oh, I'm so network. happy! I was like so sad and then so happy. It was just thrilling. What? Brooklyn Nine Nine got dropped, but now NBC. I I, I heard this, but I don't know what the fuck it is. So oh, oh you never seen it? No. Okay, well, it? homework for next week, Sam. Watch Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah, season one. I've already got like twelve shows. I'm watching. Nah, it's twenty minutes. Yeah, an episode. but they're only twenty minutes an episode, so it's like totally digestible content. And because on Netflix, there's no ad break, so it's say? even. I don't know. So it's <laughs> so even. It's so digestible. It's so digestible. They, they oh. give you in like tiny, like sort of. If you imagine a bourbon <laughs> size of comedy. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna set myself homework and say I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> Finish your other shows, then watch it. So we'll... yeah, I'll just finish everything yeah. and then. Yeah. Well, maybe you can, you know, let us know how your shows are going for next next week. Next week, everyone, I want to I want to know how your shows are going. Yeah. What show you are? Okay. What episode? <laughs> I watched that really terrible Netflix series, so I'm going to save that for next week. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Talk about that next week. Yeah. Tune in next week to find out the shit TV we've been watching. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching good TV. Okay. Oh. Well, I've been watching shit TV <laughs> by mistake. Oops. <laughs> I'm just like, how is this happening? Yeah, you watched two I, seasons. I, by watched, I watched two seasons in two days by mistake. Don't know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, couldn't be bothered. Couldn't find the remote. Thanks for listening, guys and girls. We will see you next week. And you will hear us next week. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, won't see us. They will hear us. Yeah. Tune into our streams if you, uh, you know, enjoy that sort of stuff. Yeah. Into that sort I... of thing. Laura's going to be streaming now. I know. I am going to be streaming. I've never streamed before, so I'm. Nervous and excited at the same time. Mm. Like everyone, somebody loves lots of cats. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, look, yeah. Laura, Laura's going to be doing Sims 4 yep. on Sundays. Sims 4. Sam, you're continuing at the moment Crusader Kings 2, aren't you? I don't know. He's, like, oh, he's gone. He's gone away. Sam is gone. Oh, no, here I am. Sam's continuing yeah. Crusader Kings 2. I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, can't help it now. You've made it to a series. I have to carry on. <laughs> well, you know, you can do it. By the time this goes up, maybe you'll be stopped. But yeah, it was doing that. It might be doing something else. I'm going to be doing something on the channel once again. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Oh. Maybe some Pugba. TBC. Maybe about what? TBC. To be confirmed. To be confirmed, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a good game. It is. I love TBC. You just sort of sit there and you're like, hmm, what should I play? And that's, a, that's the stream for three hours. <laughs> wow. And then also... Yes. The podcast. So yeah, back to, yeah. Back, back to good content. We are back on it. And Jake will be streaming, as always. As always. Sweet. 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 Right. Right. That's right, guys all that, and girls. All that out of the way. Yeah. And this will go up every Sunday. So hopefully yes, it will. we'll be on time once again. And then I stream on a Sunday. So people double, will double be content. sick of me on a Sunday. Mm. Ridiculous. Right. Anyway, guys and girls. See ya. Thank you for listening, watching, whatever you're doing, however you're viewing this. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.